Come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Is this our Halloween episode? I think so. Yes. Oh, I suppose so. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I, 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 you it was a it? busy week. Yeah. No, today, today I actually felt... I felt the, the thinness of the barrier today yeah, on my yeah, way over here because yeah. it's that perfect night where it's it's beautiful outside, but mm-hmm. you can feel the cold and coming in the back of everything. I love yeah. it. And the leaves are rustling yeah. as the light wind down. The fog yeah. is creeping. I know. Yep. I it's went a good my, night. I went to my backyard like, before I came over, and I was like, it smells like leaves. Yeah. Like, it's that fall smell. It's blustery oh, It's a good night. Wonderful. That's right. No, Let's counter some spirits. Evil demons are creeping around and mm-hmm. trying to come to your door. Uh, this is the Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> podcast. Thanks for listening. Uh, please help us out. Hit that uh, like or subscribe button wherever you found us. Um, but okay. these are the internet radio superstars: Sean, Holly, Michaela, and I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela for the spookiest of spooky days. What did you pick tonight? We watched From a Whisper to a Scream, mm. also known as The Offspring, depending on. When mm. and where you saw this I movie. saw it as the offspring. Yeah. yeah. The I like you see in theaters, better. Colin? Yeah. No, I saw it on videotape. Yeah. I like Whisper to a Scream. That's <laughs> yeah. spooky. Yeah, Yeah, because yeah. then it sounds like an amicus uh, movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? And it has Vincent Price in it. It so. sure does. But what year uh, did it come 1987. out? 1987. And it was directed by... Jeff Burr. How many F's in Jeff? We <laughs> Just, gotta be sure now. There's two. There's this. Okay. is a two F Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> two F Jeff. That's actually that, not a bad nickname. I was like, that's that. like a great two nickname. F Jeff. Where's Jeff? Where's two F Jeff? <laughs> when you got two Jeffs in your life. All right. Write that. Keep that in your back pocket. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is a joke because there was that one guy. What movie was it? I don't it was know. Berserker. Was it like Berserker. Jeff Berserker. Right. It was Jeff. Oh, his, his name was Jefferson. Something and it was one uh, one he, F, but yeah, one F. But he, yes. he abbreviated Jeff as one F. Yeah, one uh, F Jeff. Uh, <laughs> one F Jeff. No, one F Jeff. That sounds like a pirate. Yeah, yeah it, it does. does. Yeah. <laughs> but, but Jeff Burr, Jeff he wrote Burr. this too, or co wrote. No, it was uh, Courtney C. Joyner well, okay, and, so yeah. Jeff Burr, Courtney C. Joyner, uh, Mike Malone, and Darren Scott were all film school students that became friends and wrote this movie together, and they each wrote a different segment. Oh, and, oh, is that yeah, yeah? Yeah. And they, oh. they had the idea, they kind of came up with the four themes they wanted to touch on, and yeah. then each person picked their theme and wrote a segment on I it. Like it's it's like the coolest yeah. group project ever. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. And it's an anthology horror movie. Uh, Correct. You know, so. Mm-hmm. And uh, so Jeff Burr might be like in the running for the title of King of Horror Sequels. Yeah. Just looking at this guy's uh, list, uh, if we run it down here. Uh, Texas Leather- Chainsaw Massacre 3. 3, Because yep. he wrote okay. it, right? He didn't direct yep. it, but he wrote mm-hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Stepfather 2, Make Room for Daddy. <laughs> but he directed, wrote mm-hmm. and directed, he directed, if I remember, yep. yeah. Pumpkinhead 2, Blood Wings. Okay. All, right. All, right. All, right. All right, all right. Puppet Master 4. Yeah. Puppet Master 5. Oh. Uh-huh. Puppet Master Blitzkrieg no. from 2018. Okay. okay. And then uh, a movie that's been on my list for forever, Night of the Scarecrow. Oh yeah. oh yeah, which yeah, I've never actually it. seen, but yeah, that's been on my list Dr. for a while. Doctor Mordred also I think he so, yeah. write doc- mm-hmm. that was like uh, Full Moon's mm-hmm. Doctor Strange mm-hmm. way before, yeah, mm-hmm. with and then, Jeffrey mm-hmm. Combs. Oh Darren, yeah, and then Darren Scott, one of the writers on this movie, went on to write, and I think he might have also directed Tales from the Hood. He he oh, wrote it. Okay. Um, and then he brought some of his other friends to help write the script for Tales yeah, and from the Hood. Okay. Courtney, yep. Courtney Joyner has mm-hmm. like written a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, these guys. They're all like uh, they're not like famous. I don't even think they're 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 very known in the horror community. But it turns out that they did have like a moment, right, in like the eighties, nineties, where you know they contributed to a lot of stuff that you probably mm-hmm. saw. Yeah, back apparently. Then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but this movie. I guess the thing that um, you know, watching it tonight, because you know, like I said, I had seen it a while ago, and the only story that I remembered was the first one, the one with uh, yeah. Cliff Gulliger, <laughs> uh, and didn't remember the other ones. But mm-hmm. watching it tonight, it's like this has that kind of like really deep roster of uh, you know, like f- f- not- notable film actors. Right. You know, it's like every person in it is like, oh, it's so it's oh, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, which kind of makes it cool. I guess if yes. you know like that era of horror movies, this is kind of at the end of their career, kind of, right. you know, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I guess to get through this as fast as we can, there's four <laughs> stories. Yep. Okay. Four and stories a and then Vincent Price and <clears throat> right. Tyrell. Yeah. Let's go with the wraparound. Yeah. What, do we, what do we got okay. going on here? 
Old Field, Tennessee, um, a, a female serial killer is being executed, which I'm like, okay, I want this story. Yeah, I want to know about right? her. I want to know. I want to see her, this female serial killer exploits. And uh, Susan Tyrell is one of the reporters at the scene to like witness her euthanasia. Not only witness, but to stand right goddamn next to her. Yeah. As she gets the lethal injection. I don't, you know, I don't think I ever, this is something I ever want to participate in. I don't no. think I ever want to watch no. like, no. uh, nope. A, a lethal injection be administered ever. Yeah. No. Like, well, usually you do it from behind glass or yeah, whatever. They yeah. Yeah. They're right next to her. They're in, this in stuff. the room yeah. with right. her. Lawrence yeah. Tierney, right, mm-hmm. who had been in a bunch of stuff before. I think probably his most famous thing now is Reservoir Dogs, mm-hmm. is the warden. Martine Bestwick is the, uh, the, the killer who's being put to death. Mm-hmm. And she was, she used to, she was like a, a James Bond girl. I want to say, was she like diamonds are for, she mm-hmm. was a James Bond girl. I think maybe twice. Nice. She was in a hammer girl. She was in Dr. Jekyll and sister Hyde. She oh, played yeah. <laughs> sister Hyde. Yeah. That's so title. she's been, but I mean, it was like special appearance by Martine Beswick and mm-hmm. like, okay, so she's in this movie right. too and she's executed and bam. But yep. before she's executed, I think she tells something to Susan Tyrell. Susan Tyrell also, you know, yeah. I mean, I don't know if you've been listening mm-hmm. to this show, <laughs> needs no introduction. She's one of the no. craziest, uh, <laughs> like, I love her. Love but her. in this one, she didn't come off as, uh, although I guess maybe they're, hi- they're hiding, like, where the movie's going. Yeah. yeah. But her performance is fairly reserved. Yeah. Compared to what we've seen. Compared yeah. to the John Waters movie she's been yeah. in and yeah, right. whatnot. Compared yeah. to that fucked up, crazy Lifetime movie that we watched. Oh, Night- Butcher, Butcher Baker. Baker yeah. 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 And she was but, in, uh, yeah. But if you've seen all those. Then her appearance alone makes you tense. Yeah, yeah. you don't know yeah. where. Yeah, because you're like, this, what she's gonna do? They cast that face for a reason. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. has a very her face severe is look. like jarring. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It is, and I think she still had those penciled on eyebrows. Oh yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and again, angle. in this, she's not even like abnormal looking. Like she no. looks no. like pretty standard, yeah. but she still just has a jarring mm-hmm. face. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> we we talked about her on Angel. Uh, right, right. She was, uh, and uh, uh, Forbidden Zone, mm-hmm. and it's all right, Holly. And we've seen her do things with milk time, that we yeah. don't. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see her have milk any ever again. Yeah. Ever again. Yeah. 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 After Butcher Baker, Nightmare yep. Maker. Okay, so um, then the reporter. <laughs> what does she do after the execution? She she goes to this mansion that is a cavern because she that, that has a library. But remember, we see her go through the front door, and then all of a sudden she's in like a narrow, like she has to turn sideways. Like she's like yeah. within cavern. the walls. Yeah, yeah. Like, what the and there's yeah. no explanation. No for explanation it. No. at all. Because we spend the next rest well, of the it's movie a, in a room. But that's that's so jarring. It's a it's a it's a it's a mansion. It's a yeah. horror movie mm-hmm. mansion that she pulls up in front of, goes in, and it's all weird. And then when she finds you know the reading room or whatever, mm-hmm. Vincent Price is it. And the library like, is closed. And you're like, oh, this is a library? Yeah. Right. It's so weird. It feels like it's the, like, he maintains, like, the um, the town history library museum, but he also, like, lives above it and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, because this is his private room or something. You know, this is the back of the library, mm-hmm. although we never actually get to see the right. library. This is a very low-budget movie, I guess, is mm-hmm. the, what we're getting at here. Whether or not that's good or bad, you're going to find out as we talk about it. But Mm -hmm. uh, (laughs) they apparently didn't have the money to actually go shoot in a real library. So they did it in this uh, Mm -hmm. set Mm -hmm. in the house. All right. So Vincent Price, right? Mm -hmm. Who we haven't, I think, talked about since uh, Dead Heat. Wow. Been that long. The Haunted Palace. We did the Haunted Palace. We did the Haunted Palace after, I think. Yeah. I was going to say, we've talked about him since then. Yeah. I think somewhere I read this was the lowest budgeted movie that Vincent Price has ever worked on in his life. Really? Yes. Wow. That's what I heard. I mean, did you see the baby? (laughs) Not the baby, but the baby. In this The baby. The offspring. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. uh, Yeah, as it were. Um, (laughs) so, uh, So he, like, gives her, like, so... His whole thing is, so this is his niece has been executed. Yep. Yep. And he's going to tell the reporter. uh, She's the latest in a long line of Mm -hmm. history in this town. Because this town of Oldfield, Tennessee. What? This needs to be the, like, next Halloween movie. Or it should have been this Halloween movie where you talk about how the town is and everything, and then you get little stories about it and everything, and then you slip Michael Myers in there for the last (laughs) one. Mm -hmm. Just to make people happy. (sighs) You know, we're not going to do it. We're not going to can't derail into this. Wow. I was like, we, we can't go on that rabbit trail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know all of you out there going like, well, you guys did Halloween Kills. Are you going to do Halloween Ends? We've talked off mic so much about that movie that we just don't have the energy no. for it. I mean, so, I do. But. <laughs> uh, don't so worry, DM sure. Sean if you want to talk <laughs> yeah. about it. No, no, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> no. 
I do not. Nope. I do not want to DM discuss that with anybody. <laughs> so um, anyway, so so he has the the he has the historical record. Correct. Of the town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then he starts uh, giving her these stories and they're kind of in um, reverse chronological order. It feels mm -hmm. like each story that we're in this four. And that we're told we kind of move backwards in time with right. each mm -hmm. one. Yes, yeah, going towards the town's origin. I, I, okay, it's a lot of like you don't think that's bad. Well, check out this story. Like that's a lot of the <laughs> transition the between goes, them. Yeah. Yep. And then we fade to black <laughs> yeah. and we come up on the story. Yeah. I mean, it's not like uh, a lot of finesse. But these are kind of. I mean, they're not like Twilight Zone stories. They're not necessarily Tales from the Crypt kind of stories either. Some of them are. Mm -hmm. A Tales from the Crypt story, I guess, is like. You know, somebody who's horrible does something bad, and then by the end of it, supernatural thing comes in mm -hmm. and kind of gives it the come up. It's, mm -hmm. That does happen in mm -hmm. several of them, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but then there's like a tragic one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. I guess we'll go through these, and they yeah. all have a galaxy of uh, of horror uh, exploitation superstars. Right. All right. So, what's the first story mm -hmm. that we get? I mean, they don't have names, do they? It's Stanley, no. but they no, say yeah. it usually by the name of the person who. Yeah. committed it is like, usually because it, like he's saying oh yeah my niece is like just the latest serial killer is basically what he says he's like it starts with stanley something let me check imdb stanley i'm pretty White? sure they said his name no. was, no, it was stanley it was um steamer it's like stanley goodfellow or something like that i don't know but uh, he's played by the great clue gulliger stanley wearing, burnside. burnside burnside that was a right. And mm -hmm. Clue Gulliger's wearing these amazing Coke bottle uh, magnification yes. yeah. with the strap glasses. that goes a, around the back of his head. Yes, his yeah, head. yeah. Um, and he's playing, uh, man, man, the ca painful, right? Just like, like no, this this whole thing, like perfect. This whole thing was painful, be. yeah, but painful to like, watch. It was cringe. it was hard to watch. Non -stop. It was solid cringe, yeah. and I yeah. was like, but because he's doing such a good job. Yeah. Well, no, he was doing a great job, but I'm like, this has to take a really good specific turn or it's just a bummer yeah yeah this yeah. is one yeah. where it's like this is a bummer it's continuing to be a bummer yeah i hope we don't end it as a bummer right, right. yeah right. so give me something here because this right. is not i'm like this guy hates women and this is there's a lot yeah. going on here yeah. it's like ah yeah it was yeah it was hard to watch so what's it until about? <laughs> what's it about set us up for this what uh what is the story him and oh, so he's he's an older man that lives with his sister and they have a very unhealthy borderline flowers in the attic type relationship mm -hmm. is he um, screwing his sister i think, I think she, she wants, wants him, him to but yeah he she wants him to there's but a lot of uh, no, he seems put upon by her yeah it's a movie with full frontal so yeah we're, we're checking that box on yep. this yeah. like, the, they never <laughs> no dong like, sorry i feel like no, they never no really specify like what's wrong with the sister yeah she like yeah. overheats and he's yeah. got a cooler down with she ice, takes baths, ice every night. baths and he like sponges the ice on her every day yeah. Yeah. yeah and she enjoys it too much way yeah. too much yeah so he's got that home life but then his work life he's an awkward individual yes as it were um just he, can't get a win can't get a win he's he, he's, he's awkward like a when he talks to people a, yeah like a, uh, he does run a shipping business yeah, or shipping. something like that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah he's an awkward individual doesn't he burns really? the burgers of the company cookout. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's he has like a nightmare at the very beginning. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The nightmare. Of this Fuck. where there's a woman. Uh, so many people in this movie just wake up screaming. Yes. At a certain point. It's, and it's always funny. <laughs> well, I mean, you got, we just need the whisper. Yep. We get right. several yeah. screams. But there's a woman on a meat hook in the basement that he comes down to see, and then apparently he starts, uh, you know, like. Uh, 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 he starts going down on her. her. And she's alive. Yeah. And then he wakes up screaming. Mm -hmm. And then there's her skinned corpse is in the, uh, the making bed. a noise like yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he wakes up screaming. And then and he, uh, he, well, he unfolds it, and there's just a, 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 a her corpse again, but like skinned a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. So is he having these? Because he also seems to have waking hallucinations later when mm -hmm. he takes this woman mm -hmm. out to uh, dinner. Yeah. He sees her bleeding from the mouth mm -hmm. and all this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess that's saying that he's a psych. He's got some kind of psychosis. Mm -hmm. um, there's the implication, I guess, of like inbreeding between uh, you know, like maybe mom and dad, and uh, you know, like mm -hmm. brother and sister or something like that, and whatever. Uh, so. Anyway, he has his eye on this woman at work. Mm -hmm. This is the woman from the dream and wants to, you know, so he's like, you know, trying to call her up mm -hmm. at night, trying to practicing, work up the yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, to call her up and ask her out on a date. 
Yeah, he has sent he sent her a flower at work, and yeah, he's sure been trying to like that. flirt with her. But she's but, like, no, no, you know. Yeah. He's like, I hope you had a nice time at the picnic. She's like, Yeah, I told you yesterday that I did. Yeah. <laughs> like it's yeah. very oh, clue number one. Yeah, yeah. She's very curt with him on the phone, but she agrees to go to dinner with mm-hmm. him. I know that part I didn't just, understand. Just Co- saying, well, that's coworkers. The that's he's like there's a I mean I think she's his superior in this situation it seems like mm. job wise but that this is the problem like top of mind because I'm doing anti harassment stuff for my job yeah. right now but <laughs> like is there is a power imbalance some in coworker situations so sometimes mm. people may agree out of obligation so that that's they don't true. get retaliation at work so, that's very true I mean that's not said in this movie at all but that's like. No, I guess what one, you could infer. It's yeah. like she may be going just to get a free meal. Yeah. He's like, well, if you want to go out to dinner tonight, if you haven't eaten yet, she's like, well, all right. Well, yeah. And at this point, he does seem sort of timid and I guess harmless. Mm-hmm. And so she figures, well, I can do this since he did that. And then he'll me. leave and me then, alone. And yeah. She's hoping this is it. Mm-hmm. But on the ride home, we find out that he's a poet. Oh, <laughs> and, a, and, a, and a lyricist. Yeah. You know, and I like yeah. her yeah. line. She's like, Stanley, you are not singing <laughs> to me tonight in this car. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just take me home before you embarrass yourself anymore. Mm-hmm. Okay? Fair enough. But he's not content to yep. leave it at that. Because uh, this is, uh, you know, like he's madly in love with her. Mm-hmm. He's and obsessed. so he yeah. ends up strangling her to death in mm-hmm. the car. And then you're like, well, what are you going to do with the body now, Stanley? Well, first he's going to sing. We yeah. get his oh, that's song. right. Yeah. We get his song. Yeah. And I like that the composer is trying to put like some <laughs> kind of music mm-hmm. underneath the the lyrics. Oy. Not a good song. So she <laughs> is taken to the funeral home. Well, he doesn't he leave her on the side of the road? Yeah, yeah he way? dumps her uh, yeah. body. At the and side so I don't know how she gets to the funeral home. Do we see somebody like, finds yes, her body? Yeah, and, yeah. Because you know. the the manager comes at the at the, dock the, dock, ne- yeah. at the dock the next day, and he's like, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> to Grace the five was, people in front of him. Yep. Grace was strangled. <laughs> yep. Her body left on the side of the road. You can yep. go to her funeral tomorrow. Yep. Yep. You're allowed to go. <laughs> You're allowed to go. <laughs> um, was this... But uh, uh, Did he... His sister. Did he dispose of her first? Before we get to this part? No. No, no she no, was no. the so second she, one. She, she tells his sister yeah. he's going on on a date. Right. Yeah. You know? yep. The date. Yep. Yeah. Um, date. And she has a funeral. <laughs> well, he, he yeah. sneaks into the funeral home. Yeah. 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 That's where I'm going. Yeah. That oh, yeah, he yeah. turns into a date. Yeah. Yeah. He's brought Because he pours champ- a little champagne glass, puts champagne. it in her casket. He's in a, in, a, in a tracking one shot that just goes in on Clue for about th- two, three minutes. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he toasts her, expresses his love. Undresses himself, climbs in the casket, climbs and we're like, casket. fade to black. And I'm like, holy Thank shit, God. this movie has necrophilia. Didn't expect that. Yep, mm-hmm. it's a lot. We didn't expect yeah. this. Movie. Yeah, I know because yeah. there was actually. I mean, like you know, it's just the the kind of squalor of the home life. You know, yeah, you've got murder, you've got necrophilia. You know, even at the beginning, and mm-hmm. you know, uh, ewy, you know, incestual relationships. It's just yeah. like okay, right off the bat, like yeah. okay. This is the kind of movie that we're getting. Mm-hmm. Um, what do we? Cu- then what do we cut to, Colin? Nine months later. Nine Sean. months later. <laughs> <laughs> after sex, what happens after nine months? Because if you know that, uh, yep, this is a big clue. Yep, because you're like you're like nine months is pretty specific. <laughs> pretty right. specific, yeah. yeah. Very specific. Yeah. So it got a very big yeah. reaction so out of us. A- like you. Fucking I- just a nice evening at home, killing yep. your sister. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, great. because sometimes <laughs> right. you just can't take it anymore. Right, <laughs> right, and the Which, ice like, picks right there, and she yeah. gets all prettied up for him. Oh, oh my god, all prettied up! It is like Tammy Faye Baker, yeah, uh, but caked on even yeah. more than that. I've been waiting bad. for you all day. So yep. then it's like, okay, clearly they do have some kind of sexual relationship, and he's like, yeah, I hate you, and so he stabs her to death in the bathtub mm-hmm. and then drowns her. But then she. There's a jump scare because you think she's dead. And yeah. Then she jumps up out he of the water. He stabs her and yeah. then tries to drown her and then strangles her. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was a bloodless stabbing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a, yeah, it's yeah. true. Ice pick yeah. in the in the back. Yeah. You know, like yeah. in the spine, you'd think that would, yeah. but whatever. Um, <laughs> the hole so is then, plugged. 
to continue our theme from last week. <laughs> and he goes down, sits in his easy chair to watch yeah. TV and smoke his cigarettes. And we determine yeah, that he's Clint become Kuliger a chain smoker. Has, like, he, never smoked he, in his life. All he had to do was kill his sister. Now he's like, bachelor life can begin. That, and yeah. I think kind of that's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, like, bachelor's uh-huh. drink beer and smoke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as a bachelor. Yeah. yeah. Like he doesn't know exactly how, but he's seen it done right. on TV before. And that's why he like spits it out in the air and stains his, his right, uh, tank he top he's wearing. Yeah. He's like, this is what bachelors do, right? right? They always have stains on their shirts yeah. and potato chips everywhere. They're carefree, yeah. Yep. yeah. I'm a man now, yep. he says to yep. himself. Oh, and then, uh, Meanwhile, in the cemetery, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Baby <laughs> hand. Uh, we, see, so there, we go to a grave site and we see some rumblings. Yep. yep, and a little undead baby crawls its way out of the... <laughs> the hand <laughs> shoots up from the dirt. I love it. A yeah, oh yeah, you gotta have that. That's a classic, yeah. you know, like yeah. horror movie visual. And then we get the world's worst, uh, you know, like uh, mutant, uh, mu- yeah, mutant zombie baby, baby. Mm-hmm. who crawls out the house. Yep, who's very mobile, mm-hmm. very it's, hungry. It's like a cross between the baby from um, fucking what's the. I'm drawing a blank here. I know. Yeah, like sorry. A, like a little ghoulie. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's, it's a cross between ghoulie and um, the one from what was the? God, fucking damn it! The zombie movie that we watched that was directed by Peter Jackson. What was that called? Oh, Dead Alive. Dead oh, Alive. Yeah. The baby from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. like a cross between that. A little yeah, bit. Yeah. That. yeah. Kind of looks like a also like a also a beat up uh, Chucky doll. Yeah. Like yeah. I mean, but it's your basic doll. Yeah. It's, we don't see a whole lot of it. It comes in and out of the frame. Probably for our benefit. Yeah. Yeah. It's but the way stuff it, at him. But the way you first see it when it slowly peeks around the corner yeah. into frame was fucking hilarious and also kind of chilling like it, yeah, it, like, it oh. did both right because again i didn't know what this movie was gonna be yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't know it was gonna be this yes. and so they went with right off the bat we're gonna have uh undead baby puppet um and then it, that it, wants it, vengeance apparently yeah right? yeah. This, yeah this it was the moment they were like okay it's not a bummer anymore. Yeah. Now I'm on board. Right, yeah, this, is, this is where we came out. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm on board. Now we're good. Because what are they doing? This is the Tales from the Crypt thing, right? Yeah. Like, he had sex with a corpse. The corpse mm-hmm. somehow gave birth nine months later. Mm-hmm. And the little demon baby is going to get revenge for all the bad things that he's Didn't done. Didn't he trip him on the stairs? Yeah. Really? yeah, 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 yeah. His little baby hand? Yeah, he did. He yeah. threw a baby hand and knocked yeah. him down. Well, it's a strong Genius. baby because it's able to get the <laughs> dead true. sister out of the tub and throw her down the stairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a strong right. Baby. It's a strong demon baby. Yeah, <laughs> Sean, it's... it's too bad you don't have the little baby hand. I was just Fuck. thinking that. Yeah. I was like, where's your baby <laughs> hand? Yeah. Damn it. No baby hand tonight. And it stands at the top of the stairs and, and it screams at him. Yeah. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. It's fucking oh, that's funny as yeah. fuck. No. That was... <laughs> That was bad. And, yeah. then it, and then it lunges. And yeah. Then, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Clue Gulliger screams. Then we cut to Susan Tyrell closing a book and saying, well, that was a little far. Fetched. And being like, I'm not impressed. Yeah. 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 What else you got? And Vincent Price, of course, has another uh, story. And mm-hmm. uh, this one is about a con man bank oh, robber. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Terry yep. Kaiser. Bernie. Yep. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bernie. This Bernie. From this Bernie. Is, again, I can't get away from the voodoo, Terry Kaiser. Yeah. This felt oh, like a it. side quest I would do in Red Dead Redemption 2 or it something. It sounded like, like it, too. It felt like it. Like like it. Yeah. The, just the, drum, just the, the lonely strumming of a guitar kind right. of. Right. Well, the being on the run from like a yeah. heist or you owe money and then, it, yeah, what, he owe money to the mob or something? Is that what it was? It she felt said, like it. it was criminal. Uh, yeah. Some kind of criminals who were showing up because his uh, girlfriend is like, you better get out of here because I'm done with you. Yeah. And I'm I the told snitch. them I'm the least you're of your worries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we get the idea he's I mean, like, a bad dude. The boys are on the way. Yeah. He's a bad dude. He owes somebody money. And so as he's fleeing, I believe they shoot him. Yep. Right. They mm-hmm. arrive at his trailer park. He gets out. He lights out the back. I like yeah. that. He runs through a door. Yep. He yeah. does. And gets shot and ends up in a boat in a swamp and he drifts. Mm-hmm. And he is found by the voodoo witch doctor. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which is uh, Harry Caesar. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's just old man, right? He doesn't have a name. Right? He just calls him yeah, old, man. old man. So. The old man, well, there, there is that scene uh, where I thought we were maybe going to get zombies or something because, like, all these uh, hands uh, lunge up out of the water yeah, and grab yeah. him. Yeah, but it yeah. turns out that was just a dream. He all wakes right, up yeah. screaming. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, uh, the good screamers mm-hmm. in this one, just high pitched good screaming. Yeah, that was Fantastic. a pretty good scream. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so think, he, think Marv from Home Alone. Yep. Yeah. Like that. Exactly. When the spider's on his face, that yeah. one. Yeah. Or when he's being electrocuted. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very and, reminiscent. Well, he wakes up in a voodoo cabin. I always love. I love this. Thing. I love a voodoo cabin. I love a voodoo cabin. The atmosphere hell yeah. is so it's dope. Always, uh, like, hell yeah. always candles and torches and jarred remains. Yeah. yeah, this guy's living the life. A little like jarred fetus. And, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's why I don't know if he's living the life. But it felt like it felt like a nicely constructed structure. He lives in, in there. his sweet little voodoo shack, whittling animals, being yeah. unbothered, not talking to a goddamn person. This I'm not seeing wow. the problem. Here. Yeah. Like Kayla's ready to give it all up. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk so into can, the woods someday. To whittle. It's yeah, like, I see where you're going with this. Yeah. I'm gonna take my little witch ca- cottage. Yeah. But a voodoo shack is also okay. Good. You, can, you can have shack. the witch cottage, and I'll be on the other side yes. of the lake in the voodoo yeah, shack. Yes. There's more okay. mosquitoes in the voodoo shack. That's true. And you got okay. The bugs and the and, yeah, and the gators. Yeah. yeah. The I'm gators just gonna say that, that you don't need to resuscitate everyone who comes across your shack. Okay. Oh, serial oh, killers and what? I would not you be. Just, I would not be as kind as this gentleman no. would. I think we need that. These Although days. I'm not gonna lie, as a witch, I'm probably gonna do some like healing kind of stuff because that's just how. See, I I'd be much more of a get off my lawn type. Yeah. So yeah that no. would be <laughs> I, I imagine Michaela yeah. losing the English language. Yeah. yeah. Going feral. feral. Yeah. 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 Spears and shit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're gonna go a different direction. Yeah. It's gonna be a whole mythos built around the fact Holly's like the good witch that the kids in neighborhood love and they're like but don't go to the other side of the lake There's that's a where the mongoloid over there yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> like I'm the nice one that just gives them like toasted apples yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. You, and you lure them into Michaela your yeah. running Ginger through the house <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yes, I skitter around like yes, that. Yes, you skitter. <laughs> well, the uh, the old guy has um, like he helped uh, the the con guy, whatever the criminal, what are we calling him, the the gunman, mm-hmm. out, and so Bernie. you know, Bernie. Bernie. <laughs> yeah, it's just Bernie. <laughs> so Bernie's like getting his strength back, and then he notices that the old guy at night does uh, some funny voodoo ritual yeah. out on the front porch, mm-hmm. and there's some kind of mysterious liquid that he creates and. Then in it's a new vibes, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm. See, I thought they were gonna be switching bodies. I know. I kind of thought that's where we were going with this because go. you was, thought that because of the skeleton key. I, that was part of it. I'm just like they're switching <laughs> yeah. bodies. Yeah. Like he's gotten to a certain point where he's not <laughs> like his body's not well, well anymore. But there was something he to actually, uh, yeah. you know, like bear that up because um, Terry Kaiser. Well, the old guy tells him, you know, he's whittling a buffalo. He's like, you, you used he's to be able to just a duck. What? It's a mallard. Oh, he, 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 he takes, takes, the, on the, he shelf, takes yeah. the buffalo from the shelf. Okay, and so I just want to express his skills, right? Yeah. And it's the old guy says buffalo. that he was, you know, buffalo. You could just, as long as you were quiet, you could sit there and whittle away, and they would, you know, be fine. And Terry Kaiser's like, there hasn't been buffalo. And there haven't been buffalo in this area in four to five years. Yeah. <laughs> so then we get the idea that maybe this guy has been around for a long, long time. And well, he has his journal of. <laughs> uh, t- he yeah. literally has a timeline of his life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and, well, and even his clothes. It's it's a little Jim from Huck Finn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he has like all these na- newspaper clippings going back hundreds of years. Yep. And so Terry Kaiser is like, I don't believe it. I love this. I love that <laughs> he's just like you know. You read the the the, the articles. And you're like, oh my god. He's found a way to live forever. Yeah. You know, uh, but he's he, Terry Kaiser does just look at the camera and go, I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> like that's a moment in this as the camera pulls back. Right. Yeah. So what do you do then? Of course, then you, uh, you, you basically accost your host yeah. and say, you're going to tell me how you make this crazy, uh, you know, longevity he's possible. So aggro about it though. Like, calm down, dude. Terry Kaiser is good is it, casting. He is yeah, yes. very good casting. But he's he plays such good, a desperate. dick to this guy that saved he his is. life. Yeah, yeah. Like, like right off the bat. Yeah. yeah, not even he's not even like trying to sneak the secret away from no. him. No, just yeah. like give it to me. Yeah, well, that's what the Vincent Price intros the story. He's like, it's a story of greed. Mm-hmm. You know? The most greedy man. Yeah, that ever lived the greediest or whatever, man yeah. that ever lived. Yes. Um. So yeah, because you know, I mean. I was wondering why the old guy was even going along with it, but I guess, you know, what can you do? This guy knows where you live and, mm-hmm. you know, like you can't really get him out of your house or can you? I don't know. Can I don't, you kill if him? He, if Feed he, him to the gators. I'm that's what I thought was going to happen. Lake, there's no way he'd be able to yeah. find his way back to that shack. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. An accident could happen or something, but mm-hmm. uh, nope. He's like, okay, I will teach you my magic. Mm-hmm. 
And so I think he just wants company, even though I think so even too. though even though the guy sucks, right? Because he even says at one point he's like, "It's nice to have someone to talk to or have right. it's like company you live here or... alone, not the mole." <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is kind of it because you know I guess you know he's been around for so long, and I think he's living in as a recluse because he's trying to cover the the tracks of the fact that he has been around so long, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So these guys study for three weeks, but uh, Terry <laughs> it, Kaiser it is can't a cut, get no, the it whatever. It is a cut from, I'll teach you my ways, and it's almost a literal cut to, it's been three weeks. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. we've been out here for three weeks, and I can't learn the French or the Cajun or whatever we got yeah. going on here to so he's not even trying. pull off this stuff. And so he clocks the old guy over the head. With mm-hmm. the clocks buffalo. Yep. yep. Poor buffalo. I know. Check out the buffalo. Who they, they, <laughs> you know what they look like? They look like when in Ernest Scared Stupid. When the when when they get scared the li- and they get turned into the, the wood, yes, statues, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, idols, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah that's, that's I'm with you. Like. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, so what was his dog's name? Slingshot or yeah. wait, uh, what's rimshot? Rimshot, yeah, rimshot. It looked like rimshot. <laughs> well, help me out here. <laughs> what rimshot. is Terry Kaiser's plan to get the uh, secret of immortality? He How's thinks, he going to do it? He thinks there's a vial somewhere. He thinks there's a supply of this magic liquid. Is what he's calling yeah. it mm-hmm. somewhere in there that the man won't mm-hmm. give to him because he thinks that's the secret rather than mm-hmm. learning all the voodoo stuff. So how's he going to get this out of him? He's going to tie oh, yeah. an anchor to his feet and, and take him out to the middle of the swamp and threaten to throw him overboard. Mm-hmm. Threaten. That's how it starts. Right. That's, how it starts. Yeah. That's how it starts. Yeah. That's how it starts. Yeah. 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 And then he goes back and just decides to ransack the cabin yeah. looking for it. And mm-hmm. Yeah, but then surprise! A very muddied, <laughs> wide-eyed uh, old man comes back. and But it shouldn't be a surprise. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because I think he even says, like, you can't kill me or whatever, right. doesn't yeah. he? He yeah. says that before. But yeah. I guess you read it as you can't kill me or you'll never get the thing you were looking for. Right. But and he's right. actually you- saying, you can't kill me, I'm immortal, so... Yeah. I mean, still at this point where, I mean, you may even be questioning whether it's true or not. And it's just like, well, we'll find out. Can he kill him? Yeah. I like how he's just mildly annoyed, too. When he right, comes like, back, he's, he's just like, like I've done this at least three times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, my, he's like, my <laughs> clothes are all muddy. Yeah, he like, just changes his clothes. He comes out wiping himself off. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> done that again. Me. Yeah. I love this guy's well, attitude. Right. And that's, great. Okay, so, so you've caught this guy. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, he, he's been an asshole since you resurrected him. Or, sorry, mm-hmm. since you brought him into your to your home. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, then the guy has been threatening you. And then he cold cocked you, tied you to an anchor, and dropped you in, in the lake. Yeah. You come yeah. back. So you're pretty much done. And you catch him. So what are you, you going to do to him? How do you make this guy pay? Well, he explains to him that he already gave him the mysterious liquid that would... Mm-hmm. He's like, how do you think I healed you? Yeah. yeah. You've already taken it. You've right. already had it. And he says, I gave you enough for about 70 more years. And then, just to put an exclamation on it, he dumps some alcohol on him, <laughs> <laughs> chops his arm off, because he's tied down to a pentagram yeah. on, yeah. on his deck and everything. This is a good, like, suffering performance it, by Terry yeah. Kaiser. Yeah, yeah like, for I'm sure. Like, okay, this is pretty good as he's pleading for his life. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then he gets lit on fire. But he yeah. cannot die. So he gets, yeah, arms mm-hmm. arms and legs, I believe, right? Yep. Chopped off yeah. uh, and set on fire and then dumped on the side of a road. Yep. So yeah. in, a a, of, in a bloody in burlap a, yeah. sack that's wiggling around. This oh, is awful. Worse, yeah, awful. that is not a great... I, I feel like, okay, in reality, if I were to experience this, I want to say I'd be the person to do the right thing and like at least pull over and call police and be like, hey, I saw this. I, call, I don't. Yes. Th- I think if I saw that, my brain wouldn't allow me to believe that's what I saw. Yeah. yeah and, and I, I, and I, I, I feel like it, I would just find a way to dismiss it, yeah. you know, entirely. I, for real. Yeah. For my no. own sanity. I, feel I get like my that. brain would be like, nope. We're not even yeah. acknowledging that. I get that. And yeah. I wouldn't even be able to imagine opening the bag. No, to see no, why no. I, I don't. I wouldn't not. be able to take that horror. I'm not getting I'd, out of my no, car. No, I would have to. I would drive a little bit <laughs> yep. so that I could still see it. Yep. <laughs> so yep. I know it's not going anywhere and then call, call the police and like, yep. a bloody bag out here that's yep. moving. I'm not touching Anonymous it. Anonymous <laughs> call in. I'm well, not. No, I'm, because I don't want to be connected to this <laughs> shit in any way. Like, I, I don't, don't want to be connected, but I want to know what happens. But then you're and gonna why like. This but still alive. Don't you think they might consider you are involved oh, with it? Yeah, I see, I don't want to deal with like that. Are you supposed to help a person who's like because if it's it's moving, a bloody burlap yeah, sack in the middle that, of the that road, that person might need immediate attention. 
That's why you, you call the proper. It. But, but, no, but you maybe call the people. They did something that... stupid to get themselves <laughs> in this situation. If Colin, it could also be a trap to get you to I mean, stop, and be. then you're in a different situation. Yeah. No, I think about that all the time. Like even small things, like I see someone pulled over, like with a flat tire or something. I'm I like, don't. I'm a woman. Yeah, I, I can't yeah. stop. Mm-hmm. I can't stop a tire in the head. Mm-hmm. You what? Stop. Well, she said she's a woman and it's a flat tire, and she's like, she's a woman. She couldn't. She can't stop a, a tire under the head. Oh. Neither can I. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that doesn't really matter. And but you can't. Yeah. yeah. It it just no. Nope. You stay in your car and you call, and that's yeah. No, that's no. The I, extent I, of what you can. do. I agree yeah. that it's an emergency situation for like a, someone of any gender. But like as a woman, I've been programmed to avoid dangerous right. situations. Yeah. 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 Exactly. That's the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so he will spend. The rest of well, I like the way that they, they, they give us this information, right? <laughs> oh, because we're yeah. in the hospital and a doctor's talking to the nurse and, yeah. you know, about like, you know, what, you know, it's like he's, you know, lost so much blood, but he's still alive. He shouldn't be, but he is. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's burned horribly <laughs> and he should be dead, but he isn't, mm-hmm. you know, he's like, he's like <laughs> Dr. Chilton yeah. from, from, <laughs> from Hannibal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, takes a lick and keeps on ticking. Aren't they like you should call somebody about this? And he's like the only thing that we can do is you can pray they'll, for him. Right, yeah. they'll never pray that he me. dies quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you see the guy, <laughs> and you just see like <laughs> one tear coming down his his face. As it cuts to a close up <laughs> yeah. of his a uh, black tar face. Uh, yeah, because yeah, yeah. he's wrapped in gauze. Oh, but he's and got there's some... a there's an oxygen tube going through his nose hole, he's got, just have into a nose his nose. nose. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is. It is. That was a nice horrendous. detail that was yeah. disgusting. It was. Yeah. It was. It is. Horrific. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say this was my favorite story. This is a good one. Uh, mm-hmm. I thought, like, you know, just the, yeah, it was like, that's a nice little horror mm-hmm. story. Yeah, right it there. is. It was, was good. Yeah, it good. was real good. Mm-hmm. Um, On to the next. I know because <laughs> Susan Tyrell's like, well, that was also wild, but can't be true. And Vincent Still Price is impressed. like, no. this is the, 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 it's the town. The town, like, seeps into people. We're never really understanding at this point, like, why the town is so evil. It's just being here mm-hmm. seems to affect all of the people. Well, it was built on blood. We'll get there. Mm-hmm. I think there was actually bodies buried beneath the floorboards. Oh, yeah. So there he were. Does say that. There he does were. Say that. Who were they? I forgot. It was the lovers, right? Because uh, back when this place was a. Was it still a library? That. Um, there was somebody who worked here would come back here and have romantic trysts. Oh somebody. yeah, romantic interludes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the but the husband found out, killed them both with an axe, yeah. and their bodies are buried beneath the floor. It's always an axe of it right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I need like axes around. Do you the house. for I what? So. I mean, just because you're supposed to have them. This isn't Sounds a like horror movie, zero, Colin. Colin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's the last episode we'll be doing from this house. Yeah. <laughs> He's either going to kill us all, or we're going to be the most well-protected people right. in the city. <laughs> well, you know, you just in, everybody grab in, your axe in case of emergency. Break the glass. Just okay. don't, just don't like hang them on the wall above where you sit or something like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In like, just don't, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get they this. Can't swing. Yeah. yeah. Or like, like, like <laughs> yeah, in really Final gotta, Destination Three when no, they yeah, come we really down and figure out how the 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 what you call it the thing. the size the, no, the no, pendulums the, no. The uh, oh the scimitars or no no the mechanisms that are that lead to Thanks. The Rube Goldberg, yeah, yeah, Jesus. yeah. yeah the Rube Goldberg of of everything. We got to yeah. figure that yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the third story takes place in the like circus? the twenties. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Carnies, <laughs> yeah. Carnies. Carney, Carney folk, frightful. This right one was a good chuckle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think this might be my favorite one. Okay. Yeah, I really like this one. All right, so what's this one about? Because this one scratched my Nightmare Alley itch that that movie did not. Like, yeah. Uh, it is a, a sideshow, freak show circus of the 20s. <laughs> that was funny. And uh, was. some of the signs we see are Freddy the Frog Baby. Yeah, uh, come see baby. Freddy the Frog yep. Baby. The Fantastic. And Leonard. The all fantastic Leonard. Well, there was more written below that, but there we was. Yes. But that's yeah. all it said, yeah. Well, it said it's important. It said he sees all. Okay, uh, Leonard sees all. all. Oh, oh it did. Yes, yeah. yeah. It oh. said the fantastic Leonard and he had a big eye, and it said he sees all. But but the fantastic Leonard is just hilarious. Great. And then um, did the did the glass breaking guy have a banner? He didn't have like a banner. He did display. have a banner. Did he, yeah. did he have, a, yeah, he's I was like trying Alan. to think. There was another person though. There was another one in that lineup that yeah, was so it's, funny. It's but. the freak show yep. alley of the carnival. Mm-hmm. Oh, and the Barker. Um, I forget the actor's name, mm-hmm. but uh, he's a dwarf actor who was in like he was in Freaks. I yep. mean, he yeah. was mm-hmm. in Freaks and 
If you don't know him from that, he was also in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. Mm-hmm. He was uh, ma- not Master Blaster, but the the brain behind Master Bra- Blaster. Uh-huh. Um, and so he's in this, and he's like, you know, there's this woman who's a little blonde, attractive woman coming in. Her name's Annalise. Am I right? No. Anna, what was it? it was Amaryllis. Amaryllis. I was going to say. It's yeah, I was like, it's dumber than it's that. Like yeah. Amarillo. Yeah. 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 Amaryllis. Very odd name. Yep. Right? Amaryllis. Yep. <laughs> Amaryllis, because it's Tennessee. And yep. she's like, I have my ticket to get in there. Mm-hmm. And she goes to see the glass eating man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who is r- remarkably normal looking. Which yes. is, see, the, see, the Nightmare Alley wheels are turning. Yeah. Because it's just like. Like it's Bradley Cooper. <laughs> and just like a Nightmare Alley, everyone's like Bradley Co- is commenting on how he's too like attractive to be in the freak show. Yeah. Like that, that whole movie they're saying that. Yeah. And then it's it's a lot like the Rooney Mara character. Like she kind of is a little bit of like an audience plant sort of. Yeah. Yes. But yeah. And, and this crowd is. Their minds are being blown by this. Like they oh are so God. into these this. People like have never seen anything. Yeah. yeah. Like the these 20s? are the people that got scared of the Great Train Robbery. Yes. Yeah. yeah exactly. And ran out screaming. Well, that's yeah. why like, these are these the circus and the carnival was such a huge, yep. huge thing yeah. in the yeah. dust. Things bowl you'd never. I remember see. yeah. seeing when I was eight years old and on vacation in the Bahamas with my family. There was a glass eater at this like dinner show we were at, and I was floored by him hmm. because he legit like took my brother's coke and ate the glass. Yeah. But it you were an eight year old. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> these people are grown adults, and they're being and, yeah. But. And and he had comedy in his act too, because yeah. this guy's literally just eating shit on stage. Like, he makes yeah, some yeah. bad jokes. He makes yeah. some bad puns. Like yeah. he says like, something about nuts. Yeah. I haven't had my dinner tonight. Or you, you people have probably already eaten, but I haven't. You know, it's that kind yeah. Of, well, he yeah. said something about nuts and ate like a nut. Yeah, yeah like, like a, a metal a, nut, yeah. like a yeah. bolt nut. Yeah. yeah. Then there's pieces of glass. Yeah. Then there's a razor blade. There's a couple More different glass. types of glass. Yeah. 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 The bu- he wine bottle, he bites He has off, like a yeah. charcuterie board of just like broken he stuff. Does. <laughs> yes, he really yeah. does. He does <laughs> but I guess the gist that we're supposed to get here is that uh, Annalise, did I just say Amaryllis. Amaryllis. Amaryllis, sorry. Uh, and Adam, whatever his name is. Alan? It was either Adam or Alan. They, so they have a uh, romance, you know, like sure. a, a, yeah. a 20s era romance going on. Very chaste. And, um, but he's like, I can't see you here because she's watching mm. and she won't like, let me like see you and whatever. And you she's like, well, meet me, me at the graveyard later. <laughs> and he's like, okay. And, you know, and then, uh, then Leonard, the all seeing boy is like, ha I've seen you. Cause that's what he does. <laughs> and then there's a, a poker game. I believe that's going on with all the, right. the, 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 the no faced boy. And mm-hmm. the, I love the, I love the behind the scenes of a circus stuff. Yeah. I oh, love yeah. it. It's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Best to see all the different acts come together, like on their break time. And yeah, the bearded out. ladies yeah. hanging out yeah. with the half fish boy. And, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's uh, yeah. That, I mean, that's the. But well, why? Yeah. I st- I'm, we didn't see Freddy the frog baby in the scene. I just wanted to see him. I wanted to see him. I feel like we kind of already saw him in the first the first one. <laughs> oh, that was Freddy the Frog Baby. Yeah, yeah that's my that, that he grew up. Yeah, in my mind, that's what it is. <laughs> that makes yeah. sense. The yeah. eyes make sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, we learned that, uh, and what was her name? Sorry, the the mistress of the oh. carnival, mm. the, uh, like the snake lady, the, the, the snake, snake lady. woman. Yeah. I think she might just be credited as as snake woman. Yeah. It's Rosalind Cash. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. She's been in a ton of stuff. Yeah, yeah. she was in the Omega Man. Yeah, right? she's the, just snake woman. Snake yeah. woman. Okay, snake so woman. she runs the place, and she is basically like, I own this carnival. I saved you all. I own. Yeah. She was I in Death you. Spa. Yeah, I know. Recently, she's, oh, she's, yeah. uh, we, got, yeah. we got an I mean, announcement she, about her. Oh, 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 um, so stay tuned for mailbag. So, um, but she's like, I own your tears, and I own, I own your blood, and I own your tears. Most toxic workplace ever. Yeah. Oh yeah, ever. I own you. I literally own because yeah. she does that whole thing of like, you remember that judge back in yeah. Green County? You know, I feel like, like it's even worse than you're replaceable. Yeah. It's like you'll you'll be here forever. It's it's you're doomed to this life yeah. for eternity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nightmare Alley. <laughs> um, Cause she's got something on all the people there. Mm-hmm. But Alan goes to see Anne Maurice in Amar- the graveyard. Amaryllis. Amaryllis. Damn it, never gonna No, it's it. never gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> in the graveyard. And uh while he's there and they are getting amorous, uh all of a sudden <laughs> she's like I've never done this before. Is it supposed to hurt? He can and, do it amorous, but not amorous. <laughs> and it turns out that he has sprouted 
screws, screws. from his... Were they screws? It looked yeah, like okay. screws. I, thought, screws. I was thinking pieces of glass. But no, yeah. no. they're screws. There were yeah. screws out of the ends of his fingers. Yeah, yeah. like visibly we saw them move. Yeah. Uh, and and yeah. it's like, what the holy... So he runs back. He's like, you know, if you, if you love me, run as far away from here. I'm as a you glass can. eater, Dottie. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> they they go dialogue. full rebel with that <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> It's so good. And doesn't so she even great. say "but I love you" when he runs yes. away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's so good. Oh, those two so actors good. are like, "This is our shot. This is, this is it right here. We are gonna this crush is our it. Rebel without a cause. Like yeah. this is it." Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was pretty good. So good. Uh, I mean, the dialogue, like you said, it's goofy, it's but, goofy, but it, the it sincerity. works for this movie. Yeah, yeah. I so think, funny. You know. um, <laughs> and so he goes back to Rosalind Cash and or Rosalind Cash, and he's like, you know, or, or she's got a voodoo doll. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, yeah. And she's like, I own you, and I know what happened to your hand while you were, you know, mm-hmm. right. Um, and he's bleeding, and they're going over stuff. Mm-hmm. And you'll never leave, and whatever. But. He does actually like this is where they decide like we're leaving town. Yeah, but he he kills. Oh, and don't forget at this point, um, Amaryllis has given him a bouquet of flowers wrapped in her hair. Yep, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, important. Yeah, there you go. And, and, she, if, you, and, and she, if you do forget it, you'll be reminded because <laughs> she literally says, "Here, I picked you some flowers, and I wrapped them in my hair." Like yeah. that's like how that information is given oh, yeah, to yeah, us. Yeah. It's not subtle, it but yeah. you know, these are short stories. Because right. I love you, right? Yeah. <laughs> And then in Rosalind, I mean, I Cash. get it. Like they used to do sure. lock of your hair kind of j- bullshit, but still. <laughs> but just the yeah. way you say still. it, right? Yeah, and Rosalind Cash says, like, you know, with the lock of your hair, I can control your whole destiny or something along <laughs> yeah, those she lines. Has so, that before. yep. Because when Rosalind Cash gets very angry, because mm-hmm. um, Alan kills her shadow, which is Mister Leonard. He's the one who can see, and I believe well, Alan doesn't actually kill him. Oh, but she thinks, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, the the shadow guy, Leonard, finds him and uh, uh, yep, her, <laughs> Amaryllis, Amaryllis uh, and and then you know he's like you know uh, he tries he, to stop them. He tries yeah. to stop them, mm-hmm. but the by dwarf, showing them the eyeball on his chest. I think that happened after he gets stabbed. Did yeah, it, it oh, did. Okay. The dwarf really actually it, stabs it, yeah. him in the back, and yes. then he falls in because everybody's turning against this. You know the 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 presiding power here mm-hmm. in the carnival. And then, he, yeah, he pulls open his shirt. He's got an eyeball in his yeah, chest. Yeah, he's got a third eye. I can mm-hmm. see you now. I still see you, you know, mm-hmm. he says, as he dies. Yeah. Uh, and then we see uh, the snake woman cradling the body the next morning. I have that child's hair. Wait, hair and... And blood? Hair, hair and blood. Hair and blood. Hair and blood. Hair and blood. Screaming into Screaming the... Screaming yeah. over and over again. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, that doesn't sound good. But <laughs> our two young lovers have spirited themselves away, gotten away from the evil yeah, they're and They're going to get married. Just like Nightmare Alley. They're going to run away from it and right? start over, and it'll all be great. Yes, tomorrow with a wedding. Mm-hmm. To the motel and travel haven. Mm-hmm. What was yep. it? Something haven. Rest haven. Rest haven. Rest haven, mm-hmm. yeah. Motel Rest Haven. Mm-hmm. There you go. It's a blissful mm-hmm. sounding place, even though there are dark, what could go wrong? ominous yes. thunderclouds over the top bliss. of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it's fine. And so again, they try to consummate their relationship, mm-hmm. but the worst possible thing happens. <laughs> he, he turns into a shrapnel bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Everything he ever ate over the years as the the great is glass eater. Exploding is, from his body. Yeah. Yes. But and it crawls under his skin first. You see it moving underneath his yeah, it's skin. It's like razor blades or something yeah. moving yeah, like up his yeah. chest. So it's like he's rip, screaming. It's like ripping up his insides before it explodes then, yeah. from his body. Yeah. And it paints this hotel room. Like, it's amazing. It just, oh, it's, it's an great. extended gratuitous, awesome, it's bloody, great. Love gory it. sequence it's of oh, yeah, it's viscera painting the walls and, pa- and, and we, splashing on her. We were cackling <laughs> in such a way that I had to stand outside of the scene <laughs> yeah. and look at the insanity yeah. of us laughing pretty hard at this very bloody scene. Yeah, well, it was, if someone just walked into the room yeah. with it, they'd be like, these people like, are oof. fucked in the head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, maybe we are, but not probably. in this moment. Not in this moment. Yeah. For, yeah. But it was so good. But there is some so comedy... But, but, all everything's just so popping good. out of him in little places so and everything. Good. It's so good. Well, and there's some comedy to it because some of the stuff is going flying and like breaking a lamp and stuff. Yeah. Like it's well, not, and then yeah. and then as a viewer, you have to wonder like, oh, she's in the she's right she's right in the yeah. scope of the, the shrapnel. Zone. Yeah, right. it's like what does that mean for her? Right. Yeah. Well, we we're find about, out. We're about because, to find uh, out. Rosalind Cash visits the establishment. It's like <laughs> <laughs> he thought he'd be yeah. able to get away from. Yeah, her. finds her cruddling 
cruddling, <laughs> cradling <laughs> the bloody remains. Cruddling. That's a good word. Cruddling. But then we're treated to the coda of the story, mm -hmm. which is back at the carnival, and they have a new attraction. Mm -hmm. Why was she okay with the shrapnel? Because mm -hmm. she is now the human pincushion. Mm -hmm. And so it's a, just a tragic there. ending. Yeah. Do they mm -hmm. just stand there and just like pop stuff into it? It's just acupuncture. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. I think but she's yeah. crying. A tear runs down her yeah. face as she's up on stage, the human mm -hmm. pincushion. Yep. Mm hmm. And then we're treated to do another story. Yep. The final story. The final one. Which yeah. now we go all the way back to the Civil War. Mm. Which this whew, this made me a little sweaty because I was like, is this going to get really uh, uncomfortable content wise as yeah. far as like racism it, or what? I was what really I was worried of where yeah. this was going to Yeah. They were straddling a few different topics on yeah, this one yeah. that were, I was a little nervous about. Right. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, are we going to see like some hood, white hoods show up or yeah. something? I was real worried for a minute, but. I think it handled it okay. I was going to say, what movie is that? I know there's a movie where there's Confederate with Nichelle Nichols in it. And it's a Confederate. Oh, damn. The Confederate zombies like a fight. Oh, like wow. the, Yeah. Mm. I okay. can't remember the title. Um, mm -hmm. But anyway, so we see Yankee soldiers the, 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 the coming through Tennessee. Obviously, they're on their way to Old Field, right? And the, they're led by um, Cameron Mitchell. Uh, who's been on the show before? Because mm -hmm. uh, without warning, didn't he have like a, a moment in that? Well, you'd know him from um, the Toolbox Murders, probably. Can we gotcha. the sheriff? Who was he? In? No, he's like a fisherman or something at the very he's beginning. One of the guys of the, in the bar. Yeah, he yeah. got killed. All right, yeah, I think he was with his son at the beginning. Of without warning, mm -hmm. am I wrong? Okay, oh, anyway. he was the hunter or the whatever. Hun yeah. Oh, was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. With his forty-five-year-old son. Yeah. 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 Ah. And it was. <laughs> That's um, the one. With his 45 year old teenage son? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, obviously he's been around forever in uh, Hollywood <laughs> movies and Italian movies. Um, so he's leading a troop through Tennessee, and they come upon these Confederate soldiers, and the soldiers are waving the white flag. Yeah, but he's one of them fucking dirty colonels, and he's like, just I didn't see anything. you didn't see anything. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And then, Which, like back yeah. in those days, you probably could get away with that. Kind oh yeah, of I'm sure it happened yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it oh, happened yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. so, and they've already established that the war's over. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Did they find that out before? Or no, they they find that out when they get to the camp, right? Because yeah, they're they, reading the letter. Right? Yeah, they shoot these guys, then they go to the camp, and then they find out that they've received the letter that, okay, oh, the war okay, is okay, over. Okay. And they're like, oh, well, you know. My bad. So there's, there's, I think <laughs> Man, one I of, just started murdering people. <laughs> War's already over. But there's like, four guys, only one of them, he has the conscience, and he's like, this is, I'm fucking leaving. The yeah. war's over, and you, you're doing horrible things. And Cameron Mitchell's like, if you keep walk, walking, this is going to be desertion, I'm going to shoot you. Mm -hmm. And he, he does. does. He shoots him mm -hmm. and, and apparently kills the guy. Who falls down in the field. Yeah. So we're like, okay, we got these scummy soldiers and uh, and, and where are they going to go? Mm -hmm. Not where I expected. Yeah. Was not expecting this. <laughs> this took but, a turn. Yeah. They are on their way to Old Field when they are hit with cannon fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like landmines? Yeah. It's, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Things just blow up. Yeah. And then... Cameron Mitchell wakes up screaming. Yep. Uh, yeah, did anybody wake up screaming in the the the? Everyone uh, woke up screaming. No, I sorry, think. in, the, in the, the circus one? one. In the circus one. I feel like I Alan feel like did. Alan woke up screaming at one mm -hmm. point. I don't know. Sure. There was a lot of screaming. Yeah. All right, that one had a, okay. So he wakes up screaming, and where is he? Hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is. Yeah, he does he wake up. He's he's in mm. yeah he's tied to a chair. Okay, so they're in the and, house. Yeah. It's like an old mansion, ramshackle. Probably mansion. an old uh, what you call it? Plantation. Yep, yep, that's the word. That's Thank the one. You. Plantation that's the house. One. Mm -hmm. Yes, and discovers that the house is run by the magistrate. <laughs> who who, uh, it, who lords over the children? children. Yes. Yeah, many children. children. It, is so a, these are, it is a children of the corn, Lord of the Flies, in Confederacy time. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah that's the pitch. Yep, it's that's an interesting combination of elements. Yeah, yeah. 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 So these kids with you the know, one kid from Friday Thirteenth Part Six. Mm -hmm. and it turns out his brother is also in this movie. But stay tuned uh, for our oh, mailbag. Yeah. So <laughs> we're in big trouble. But they're trouble, like in dude. uniforms and everything. And that's what makes it extra unsettling to yeah. me. Yeah. yeah, but they're also and they're like, all like they're all like injured and deformed. Yeah, yeah. yeah maimed. Yeah, yeah. some are. Yeah, yeah, and they're um, they bear a grudge. You know, like against the big ones, mm -hmm. the big people. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, you people came to our land and killed everybody here, and so we hate the big people. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. So um, they uh, they cast them in uh, these games that they play. Mm. <laughs> oh, oh yes. my god! Pin yes. the limb, oh, pin, pin the limb them. on the torso. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. There Literally. is a game of pin the limb on the torso okay. in yes, this there movie. Is. Yes, yep. uh, there's, a, there's a pile of limbs with hooks, and whenever kid gets it closest to the spot it goes in, yep. gets yes. to eat it, I'm guessing. They, yep. Yeah, because they, yeah, they do allude to cannibalism. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah. They, yeah, this torso's hanging from a tree, and all these kids are blindfolded, cheering this kid on Yay! to put yeah. the, hook this limb on the torso. It is wonderful. At first I thought it was going <laughs> to be, be a pinata, and I was like, oh, fuck yeah, oh, this is going to yeah. be even better. But yeah, no, pin the limb on the torso was wonderful. Like maybe in Rap Zombies. Sure. Yeah. Not yeah. this one. <laughs> I mean, this felt pretty close to that kind of vibe. They, yeah. Uh, um, they, one of the little girls is missing an eye, mm-hmm. and so the uh, kid takes uh, oh. Turn into a room where they have one of the soldiers tied down. He's trying to impress her. Yeah, I think, yeah. like, come here and take off your patch. You know, yeah. like, you're gonna... No. Yeah, and then he's like, here's an eyeball that I just <laughs> took out of this guy, and the guy's like, whoa! And he you tries know. to put it in her socket. Yeah. Oh, it's I was, so I think it's just gross. going for comparisons, like, is this too yeah. big for your <laughs> Do face? I have to size this? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't <laughs> entirely sure, like, exactly what was going on there, if this is one of those movies where kind of logic goes out the window, and he was actually going to, you know, I mean, uh, they're transplant. Kids. But that's what I think yeah. it is. They're kids, and he yeah. thought, if I take this eyeball out, yeah. yep. you can use it. That's not what happens. Yeah. And... Cameron Mitchell, wily old dog, is trying to wile his way out yeah, of Yeah, because the little girl says that he looks like her papa. Because she's yeah. got a locket with a photo of her father. And mm-hmm. he is like, I didn't get your name. She's like, Amanda. And he's like, I had a daughter named Amanda. Mm-hmm. Now right? he's playing the game. Oh, yeah. And he's like, but if you untie me, we can leave I'll, this I'll place. I'll adopt you. Yeah, we can make it like it was before the war. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And poor Amanda, she... This made me sad. She <laughs> believes him. I know, because you you know what's going to happen. It's yeah. like, this guy has no morals or compunction and just wants to get out of here. Yeah. So he strangles her to death. I think he snapped, snapped her, her, neck. her neck. Yeah, yeah he snapped oh, yeah. her neck. Yeah. Um, Could have used more snapping. <laughs> yeah. And then he <laughs> s- tries to sneak out. That's when he witnesses the aforementioned the, pin yeah. the tail or pin the arm on the torso. <laughs> yep. And then but, he runs. And then he tries to run. But who yeah. does he run into, Holly? The soldier that he shot in the back <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Did that just come to you? Because I saw it flash in your eyes like, oh, I remember. No, I was like, I know this. <laughs> <laughs> who? That was a surprise that that guy is still alive. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was trying to figure how he could end up being the magistrate, but I was like, no, it doesn't add up. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, what is the magistrate you're talking about? Oh, oh right. The magistrate yeah. is insane. Yes, that's <laughs> what it is. The magistrate is like the head, of, the heads of their parents, the remains well, of their parents they're on a cross on a in cross. front of a Confederate flag. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. like lit up with candles in the basement. Yeah. Yeah. This is ghoulish. This like imagery it, and this thing they created. It's disturbing. Well, wow. Yeah. yeah, it's it's something. Yeah, that's what we're eventually. It's alluded to, or I guess uh, directly referenced. You know, like he has to go talk to the magistrate. The yeah. magistrate is gonna, you know. So you get the idea. There's some sort like of shadowy figure, yeah. yeah, who leads this place. You know, and you're mm-hmm. like, okay, this is gonna be he who walks behind the rose or something <laughs> right. like that, right? In your children of the corn analogy, but uh, yeah, then it turns out to be like these are our parents. You yeah. guys. You guys killed him, and we, yeah. we we've had him here. And this is the magistrate, and we take all of our orders from them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is the point. You got to realize I'm done. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm dead. dead. There's dead. no yeah. talking yep. to these people. Well, and it is at that point. He literally looks at the table. He's like, "Well, what are you going to do to me?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's accepted it. <laughs> so he escapes and uh, is uh, cold cocked by the uh, soldier who I believe uh, that, that he had shot earlier. Yeah, yeah. who mm-hmm. stabs him. And I was like, in the okay, leg, yeah. what's going to happen here? Because is the soldier also going to be caught by these kids? But it looked like the soldier was kind of like, stab, stabby, yeah. stabby. And now I'm going to go hide Run behind off. this tree. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure he ran and off. And also he was like like 19 himself. Mm-hmm. So I think he may not have been in as much trouble because he looked really young. Mm. Yeah. I don't think they would look at him as like an evil adult. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I can see him ended up like j- then taking him in. Yeah. They don't say that, but that's just in my head. I can see okay. him taking him in. But what they do is they get uh, Cameron Mitchell back into their uh, uh, possession and tie him to a chair. And then they set him on fire. 
Because they're going to eat them. Yeah. I think that's the yeah. cannibalism. They're purifying they're, their meal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cooking that meat. <laughs> and so we're like, oh, man, that's a uh, Pretty fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but he got what he deserved, that yep. bastard. And then we cut back to the library, and mm. Susan Tyrell's like, oh, you think that's fucked up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> And I guess there's a thing here going on between Vincent Price and Susan Tyrell. I mean, it's not really fleshed out. It really is just him going like, you don't understand the place is evil. It makes people do this kind of thing. My niece yep. fell in with these, the people of <laughs> Old Field. With mm-hmm. the evil. She was a victim of the town. Yeah. 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 Because he just sat in the library and uh-huh. watched it. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why he's unaffected. But she actually went out into society mm-hmm. and joined society, and society was evil. And uh, society and his niece talked to her and said, "You should kill this man." Yeah, <laughs> and so she killed somebody when she was seven. Mm-hmm. And she continued killing for thirty-two years. Mm-hmm. Now Pretty she's prolific, dead. yeah. It's yeah. like okay, that's, that's over. Lot. But Susan Tyrell has a revelation mm. to impart. Yeah. Your niece has been writing letters to me from prison. Dun, 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 mm-hmm. Telling We've how spoken. you raised her. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. And what I and good. and she taught me what I should do. <laughs> <Dun. Yeah. laughs> <There you go. laughs> and so she flicks a switchblade and sends it right into his neck. Oh, yep. poor Vincent. Oh, oh yeah. somebody had to die. But, All this time that he was able to survive the town yeah. of Oldfield, but that came for him. Yeah, but that line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what did wait? What did he say? Welcome to old yeah, and then die. <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> and Bravo. credits. Yep. Bravo. And then you're out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a whisper to a scream. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> all right. But I tell you what, you made it this far. We're going to go around the table and tell you uh, individually review it and tell you whether or not you should watch it. But before we do that, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to summon our mailman. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why? Thank you, Igor. Igor is very similarly structured as the magistrate. They're they're very similar. Yeah, and and uh, that fucking baby too. Yeah, a mix yeah. between. Yeah, the I imagine baby. the baby's on the inside controlling. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's basically a walking version of this anthology. <laughs> Are you saying like I Igor's know. a mech suit, like a human mech, like I a skin s- mech I suit for a smaller creature? But I also think sometimes the suit is just Igor. Like he's oh, okay. just, <laughs> like he comes alive. Okay. Uh, he's many things. I was thinking, you know, in the un- Uninvited where there was the cat inside the the bigger cat's mouth. Mm. If like Igor that threw sort of thing. that baby, yeah. I'd be scared. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could happen. Well, could happen. We don't know. All right. So we want to remind the good folks at home how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or they can email us. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Okay. So MF Mad mm. mm-hmm. is a long time mm-hmm. keeper of the yes. Saturday Night Freak Thank Show. You for your service. Yes. On, on his says, watch. That's right, because he's identified five people in this movie. Jesus. Wow. Now I mean, it makes sense. Wow. All right, so first up, we've got, we're honoring Terry Kaiser tonight. As we should. Wow. Because um, he was in From a Whisper to a Scream. He was also, of course, Dr. Cruz in Friday the 13th, Part 7, The New Blood, yep. which we did on a episode that's called, like, the drive-in episode. Yep. We did four movies that night, and that was one of them. Um, and he was also in... Tammy and the T-Rex. Oh, yeah. oh that's yeah. right. How can we yeah. His greatest roles outside yeah. of Bernie. I yep. think so. He's Welcome maniacal Bernie. in that yep. movie. Tammy and the T-Rex, evil doctor. Is he alive? No, mm-hmm. he passed. Did I see, did the him and, and what's her name reprise their roles in a fan film for Like part Laura seven? Park Lincoln? Yeah, Laura Park Lincoln. Yeah, Didn't did they? they? I think so. I don't know. I hear like well, a, lot of, a lot of the part six people will keep coming back, but I don't know about the part sevens. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I think they did one. Look it Look up. Look it up. Yeah. Uh, Rosalind Cash mm-hmm. was oh. in From a Whisper to a Scream, as Michaela said. She yep. was in Death Spa, mm-hmm. but you mm-hmm. have forgotten she was one of the John Emdals, or the Johns, in The Adventures of Buckaroo Banzai. Oh, well, yeah, you're right. I have forgotten yeah, about sure. that. I did forget about that movie. <laughs> uh, Cameron Mitchell. Uh, uh, which yes. I said was he mm-hmm. was in without warning and from a whisper to a scream, but mm-hmm. we have also seen him in Night Train to Terror. Oh, <laughs> nice. 
Nice. Okay. Which, okay. okay, I'm sorry. Which train, which train, train movie, which was, train movie was, that? was that? Oh, yeah. That was was, that? He, remember, there was like a Nazi uh, Satanist, and Cameron Mitchell was like, he was like, I'm going to kill I'm, him. I'm getting I, Horror I Express from, and Night Train to Terror. Confused, oh, Night Train to Terror was the one where God and the Devil are like, okay, um, okay, gotcha. The, the okay, band yeah, that yeah, keeps yeah. playing. Okay. The band. Yep. Everybody's got yeah, something yeah, to do. Everybody, everybody but you. you. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yep, okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> there are too many train movies. There are too many. And we, train, that, train month really derailed us. <laughs> train, night, we've done them all. Yeah. All right, well, Sean, you mentioned that Thomas Newell. Uh, is the kid who plays Andrew yes. in this movie the leader of the Confederate evil children? Yeah. Indeed. And he was also in Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives. Yes. And he was also the Christmas son, is his role in the cast of Invasion USA. Oh. Wow. The Christmas son. Okay, good okay. for him. And his brother, Justin Noel, who was wow. also in Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Jesus. Lives. Is he just talking to him? Is that the kid yes, he's talking that's to? That's his yeah. brother. But he was also in From a Whisper to a Scream as part of our gang. Oh, so the, probably the other Our gang? I told kids. you it was fucking Little Rascal. Yeah. I told yeah, you. It is. <laughs> and he was also in Sleepaway Camp 2, Unhappy Campers, which oh, we did many, yeah. Long time many, ago. many yeah. years okay. ago. Okay. So there you go. Well, wow. thank you, MF Mad, for mm -hmm. your diligence well, and research. And now, Appreciate both it. brothers from Friday the 13th, <laughs> part six, are... On the Saturday Night Freak Show Wall of Fame, everybody's getting a certificate, and we're mailing it out wow, tomorrow. Big induction we'll fire tonight. Up the printing press. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. About tonight's movie, from a whisper to a scream. Mm -hmm. Michael Whitaker writes in and says, "I've never heard of it, but oh. I'm always up yeah. for some Vincent Price. He's one of those actors for me that even if it's not a great movie." He always turns in a good performance. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. like listening yeah. to him talk. You know. Yes, because mm -hmm. it's I, evil. Yes. Right, and then I like listening to Bill Hader do. Him. I was going to say I <laughs> yeah. watch those every Halloween. I watch all the Bill Hader ones. So they're funny, so good, they're so funny. <laughs> uh, last week we watched a movie called The Hole. <laughs> hole, and hole. Hole, hole, hole. And hole to you. Yeah. Uh, well, we had mentioned um, that the director was Nick Ham. Mm. And his brother was Sam, Sam Ham. Yep. And Travis Legler sent us a photo of Sam Ham. Oh, said, yeah. This is the guy who wrote Batman 1988 uh, or 89, but and also a movie called Driven. We talked about that, but Travis saying it was okay, but the movie's not full of facts. It's more of a movie about what the public thinks happened with John DeLorean. Because it's a uh, driven, right. it's mm -hmm. not the oh, Sylvester okay. Stallone movie. It's about uh, the creation of the DeLorean car. Yeah. And uh, Travis says it's like movies from the 80s and 90s that, that said based on a true story and then only got people's names right. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. I did mention I knew nothing about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Appleiva says, hi, all. How do you hi. watch some of the movies Hello. that are not readily available on a streaming network? Do you go Netflix, Amazon, Shutter? Do you rent them and where? Yeah, we Should we them. start saying every week like where we probably we usually, we usually mention it. This one we found on YouTube, YouTube yep. yeah. but it's also available for rent or purchase on, on Voodoo. Voodoo. Yeah. It's uh, not available anywhere else. We use a, a wildly inaccurate website called Just Watch uh, a lot of I don't times. recommend this website. I don't they are wrong either. a lot. Yeah. I, but it's a good starting place. It, it, start with Just Watch. See where it, it put in the movie. It'll tell you where you can stream it and how much for. It's not always accurate, but you can at least start there. Yeah, so, and but. this is current as of the date which were re uh, that this episode oh, yeah. came out. Yeah. yeah. If you're listening to Ten this a couple from years now. from now, yeah. It was Movies there. don't even exist yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Neither do we. The week before. Yeah, we 10 watched... years from now, it's on Disney Plus. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, it's so not even around your, yeah. anymore. You can um, no, Disney it's car, the only thing the around Disney anymore. Theaters, you can just watch it on yep. Disney Plus in your Disney house. <laughs> yep. Ask your, your Disney, Disney ro ask your Disney robot. Yeah, yeah your Disney <laughs> smart house. Mm -hmm. Well, the week oh, that before that, well. we watched a movie called Trick or Treat. Which one? Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Okay. The one we watched before the hole. Yeah. And Kryptonian <laughs> Orphan says, I was so excited to hear you all review this. It's in my top five favorite horror movies, and it's always played in my home on Halloween night. Sam is a great icon of horror, and the scene with Anna Paquin and the rest of her pack has to be one of the best scenes in horror history, and I'd say Brian Cox's character, uh, we established that he's made up to look like John mm -hmm. Carpenter. Uh, he, uh, tri uh, Sorry, Kryptonian Orphan says Brian Cox's character has about the same temperament as John Carpenter. <laughs> That's does. what I've heard. Uh, Nelson Nascimento says, I love this movie. 
Sam's last story is very reminiscent of a Tales from the Dark Side episode called Halloween Candy. Mm. Huh. Uh, Carson Snar said um, his favorite episode was the massacre on the bus episode. Yeah. Or I guess it's the last episode, right? But as they're talking yeah. about the creepy. Yeah. yeah. Or whatever, uh, because the. Um, he says probably because they all look so creepy. He's talking the about kids on the, the bus, kids yeah. on the bus. Yeah. And yeah. Their yeah. Costumes. yeah. Their yeah. costumes are unsettling. And Travis had also pointed out, Travis Legler had pointed out that uh, the remake of Pet Cemetery put kids in those costumes for no good goddamn Yeah, reason. with their yeah. cemetery Never march. Talk yeah. about that movie. Mm-hmm. Again. Yeah, we, it's still we, too soon. We did our episode. Still <laughs> Don't listen soon. to that. That is an angry episode. Yeah, yeah it is. Uh, all right, so now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie Colin! from a whisper to a scream, starting with well, Colin. Thank you you have to whisper, and then Ka- yeah. Sean gets slightly louder. Holly gets slightly louder. <laughs> yeah, I have to scream mine. Yeah. Whisper. <laughs> Can I be at scream? Okay. <laughs> Colin, what did you think about tonight's movie? I dug from it. A whisper. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sean, what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, is that really all you have to say? It's, you know, what do you grade these things on? Like, you know. Um, entertainment. Entertainment, number one. This one we I can got do entertainment. It, right? I was entertained. Yeah, it's low budget. And like we said, we were laughing at it a lot. But it's that kind of, it was a fun experience, fun horror movie. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it was a little bit dodgy at the beginning with the, uh, you know, the, <laughs> yeah. the, the demon baby or whatever on the baby thing. The Before demon baby like, came, yes. Yeah. But yeah. I really did think like, you know. Um, the budget hampers it. They make up for that by having all these familiar faces in the movie. Then you're like, oh, you know, it's like, it's just interesting to watch some of these people. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I would actually say that I think every story in this is probably better than most of the stories in Trick or Treat. Like, they feel to me more like self-contained, better realized uh, like this is, I guess, what I want from a horror anthology. Mm. Like mm-hmm. all of these stories, I didn't. I wouldn't say that there was really a bad one. I kind of dug. Oh no, I think they're all. It good. was like cracking open an old episode, or, uh, an issue of Tales from the Crypt, or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not, it's not Twilight Zoney. It's like Tales from the Crypt. Mm-hmm. Seems like the, uh, the inspiration behind it. But yeah, I, uh, I, I, I liked it. So, like I said, the. Um, my impression of it going into it tonight was like, oh, I remember watching that. And I remember it not being all that good, but uh, tonight it was like, no, that, uh, that was a, a, a mm-hmm. really good anthology movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Holly, what'd you think? Thank you, Colin. Um, this was a fun movie. This was a great Halloween pick. Well done, Michaela. Mm-hmm. Yes, very Thanks. Good, very good. I didn't see yeah. this. I knew nothing about it. I know it it's pick. always iffy going in, but mm-hmm. I love me an anthology. We know this. Mm-hmm. And, I love each one of these like there. I feel like anytime we watch an anthology, there's always one that I'm like, it wasn't strong. It was right in the middle. It was boring. All of these were good. They were all entertaining as hell. Yes. There was twists that I didn't see coming. There was lots of gore, lots of creativity. It was fun. This was this was a good anthology. I don't really have anything bad to say about it because it was just fun. Mm-hmm. This is like the kind of movie we watch on the freak show. You yeah. know, like this is what we we look for when we look for those hidden gems. Mm-hmm. We look for ones like this. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I recommend the fuck out of this. It was awesome. John, what did you think? Yeah, I suppose you could sit here and say things about, um, you know, it's budget or it's acting and everything. But uh, tonight I'm just going to be like, I had fun with this. Yeah, that's where I'm at. I just had fun. Like, it was gleeful fun. When everything's shooting out of that dude and she's getting in the whole room and she's getting covered with blood, I was gleeful. It was was, was exciting. (laughs) We had fun. Uh, We were cackling. Cackling. So long. I I thoroughly enjoyed this tonight. Um, It's finally good to see it after staring at that poster for many years. Um, Yeah, just a fun movie. Like, For don't sure. don't be too critical of it because no. I mean, enjoy the uh, the good acting and the very bad. But mm-hmm. it's it's good that, it's in that fun. it's bad. It's just yeah. it's, it's a fun movie. And mm-hmm. I recommend that you watch it, especially during the spooky season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I recommend from Whisper to a Scream. It was very good. Yeah. Good Michaela, stuff. take us home. Yeah. I had never seen this before, but I remember as a kid. So I was a real scaredy cat as a kid. Like I was afraid of everything. Um and from, from scaredy cat to feral yeah, uh, wood child yes, that you're exactly. gonna end up yeah in. yeah yeah that's quite a journey right I, yeah I was afraid of everything Let's um watch that movie. yeah like I don't know if you guys were you guys ever scared to walk down like the horror aisle at the video store because like the artwork just like 
creeped you out so much? I because that was me. I would no, avoid I the horror like, aisle because my, I was so afraid. My of it. older brother was, and yeah. I had to like walk him through. It. Yeah, see, I would like I couldn't look at like some of the artwork, and this poster has haunted me my entire fucking childhood. Oh my god! Like he because chopped it's, his own head it's, off. it's Vincent Price holding his own chopped off head it's in front a of him. Poster. It's an amazing poster. It's such I a guarantee poster. you, if you've never heard of this movie, I'm sure you've seen the poster mm. because I know I like I remember the local grocery store video rental oh yeah place which is always having the that. dodgy one always they always had yeah. the dodgy ones yeah. yeah i remember that being on the shelf and just like i couldn't look directly at it it scared me like Colin, you need yeah. to be on the hunt for this poster for your that's basement a yeah it's a good poster <laughs> that's a good one and so i'm glad i finally got to see it and like put us like a story to this thing and yeah i'm glad that it didn't disappoint because i was it started off so dark with necrophilia. I was yeah. like, oh no, oh no. I was like, and then when I heard like Confederacy start entering, I was like, oh God, this is going to go off the rails so poorly, but it didn't. It was really enjoyable. I, I, <laughs> I agree with what you guys are saying. It is low budget and is noticeably low budget, but it's like, there's still really top tier actors in this and like, it's good story and they all wrap up nicely and they all move at a good pace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. it is, it is nicer that there's just like one, they all, you said they all got, did they all, I'm sorry, I'm interrupting yeah. your thing. No, but you're good. When you discussed it earlier, like, there is one director. One director. Yeah, one director, but one, four writers, yeah. Oh, yeah. Each one wrote it. Four writers. Four writers. Yeah, four writers. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that was that the were all, it would be like, guys, it would be like, which is what we should do. Right. Is it would be like if we wrote an anthology where we each wrote a chapter. Because they, right. they were literally yes. four film school friends that made this. Right. So like, I, I think yeah. the, the fluidness comes from having the one director, whereas these right. anthologies usually... Or ones we've watched in the past have taken other directors and put them together. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great point. Yeah, I it's I love a horror anthology, but I agree. Usually there is one that is like it sags or it slows down or you even just feel like the order is wrong. Mm. But I like the reverse chronological order a lot. I love that. I got creepy circus shit, creepy swamp shit, mm-hmm. you know, uh, creepy Confederate shit. Like and every story surprised me. Everyone took yeah. a turn that I didn't expect. And I love that like. The, the comedic darkness like the kids playing pin the hook the ar- pin the harm on the torso yeah. that is dark but we laugh funny but we laugh like it was it was fucking funny yeah but i love it, juxtaposing kids with dark shit like that in horror yeah. movies so i love it and a kid died yeah just a kid for died. You. Yeah, just for me. <laughs> yes uh so yeah i would definitely recommend it i mean i feel like there's not as many horror anthologies as i would like and there's yeah. definitely not as many good ones as yeah. i would like for sure so for sure. definitely check this out um, maybe it's available in other places under the offspring. It's maybe, it might be easier to find that way. I think that was only on tape. Okay. Cause mm-hmm. I think that was the distributor. Yeah. yeah changed yeah. the title. But on yeah. Shell Factory. The shot is this. I think that from right. whisper to the scream was the original. But Shell Factory did release a Blu-ray a while ago. So there is Blu-ray rips available. We watched it on YouTube, but yeah, it's also available on Voodoo. So yeah, definitely check it out. I, mm-hmm. I loved it. I had a great time with it. Yeah. Good stuff. Know, that means mm-hmm. it's freak show approved. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Even though I'm trying to think the origin story, right? The Civil War one. I guess we're just saying that the 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 magistrate, it, you know, it, it's just the town was founded on evil. Yes, that's what. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Or was that the start? Was that that started the evil? Well, that, I think yeah. that was. Well, it was because then they say, and then now we will rebuild Old Field, mm-hmm. and it, it shall come to resurgence. And they put up the American no, flag. It's mm-hmm. got a bad seed. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Built on blood. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, okay, so that means contractually you're obligated to watch it. Uh, next week, we're watching a movie that's chosen by... Colin. I hope it's not too obvious, and it's oh, our no. Halloween movie, so that means we're going to have Gypsy Curses, we're going to have uh, Foggy Moors, and Ooh. we're going to have Wolfmen. We're yeah, going to watch I'm in. The Wolfman Ooh. with Ooh. Benicio Del Toro. Oh, we're finally doing it? Yes. We haven't, yeah, we haven't doing done it. that? No. Yeah. No. No. Oh, we're finally doing it. We're <laughs> oh, finally no. doing it. I'm oh. so glad we're doing it. What, the 2010 remake? 2010 right? remake. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. I didn't, I man. I I'm so glad we're doing it. We discussed it so it. much yes. over the years. But right. we have things to say, I'm sure. And we'll I'm excited. probably, if you're playing along. This is going to be such a good atmosphere for us. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. And we're going to watch the uh, director's cut. So that's the one you want to check out. Okay. All right. So until next week, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark.